Crocodiles, family Crocodility, or true crocodiles are large semi-aquatic reptiles that live throughout the tropics in Africa, Asia, the Americas and Australia. The term crocodile is sometimes used even more loosely to include all extant members of the order Crocodilia, which includes the alligators and caimans family Alligatoridae, the gharial and false gharial family Gabulidae, among other extinct taxa. Although they appear similar, crocodiles, alligators and the gharial belong to separate biological families. The gharial, with its narrow snout, is easier to distinguish, while morphological differences are more difficult to spot in crocodiles and alligators. The most obvious external differences are visible in the head, with crocodiles having narrower and longer heads, with a more V-shaped than AU-shaped snout compared to alligators and caimans. Another obvious trait is that the upper and lower jaws of the crocodiles are the same width, and the teeth in the lower jaw fall along the edge or outside the upper jaw when the mouth is closed. Therefore, all teeth are visible, unlike an alligator, which possesses in the upper jaw small depressions into which the lower teeth fit. Also, when the crocodile's mouth is closed, the large fourth tooth in the lower jaw fits into a constriction in the upper jaw. For hard to distinguish specimens, the protruding tooth is the most reliable feature to define the species family. Crocodiles have more webbing on the toes of the hind feet and can better tolerate saltwater due to specialized salt glands for filtering out salt which are present, but non-functioning, in alligators. Another trait that separates crocodiles from other crocodilians is their much higher levels of aggression. Crocodile size, morphology, behavior and ecology differ somewhat among species. However, they have many similarities in these areas as well. All crocodiles are semi-aquatic and tend to congregate in freshwater habitats such as rivers, lakes, wetlands and sometimes in brackish water and saltwater. They are carnivorous animals, feeding mostly on vertebrates such as fish, reptiles, birds and mammals, and sometimes on invertebrates such as mollusks and crustaceans, depending on species and age. All crocodiles are tropical species that, unlike alligators, are very sensitive to cold. They separated from other crocodilians during the Eocene epoch, about 55 million years ago. Many species are at the risk of extinction, some being classified as critically endangered. The larger species of crocodiles are very dangerous to humans, mainly because of their ability to strike before the person can react. The saltwater crocodile and Nile crocodile are the most dangerous, killing hundreds of people each year in parts of Southeast Asia and Africa. The mugger crocodile and American crocodile are also dangerous to humans. Crocodiles are protected in many parts of the world, but are also farmed commercially. Their hides are tanned and used to make leather goods such as shoes and handbags. Crocodile meat is also considered a delicacy. The most commonly farmed species are the saltwater and Nile crocodiles, while a hybrid of the saltwater and the rare Siamese crocodile is also bred in Asian farms. Farming has resulted in an increase in the saltwater crocodile population in Australia, as eggs are usually harvested from the wild, so landowners have an incentive to conserve their habitat. Crocodile leather can be made into goods such as wallets, briefcases, purses, handbags, belts, hats, and shoes. Crocodile oil has been used for various purposes. Crocodiles were eaten by Vietnamese while they were taboo and off-limits for Chinese. Vietnamese women who married Chinese men adopted the Chinese taboo. Crocodile meat is consumed in some countries, such as Australia, Ethiopia, Thailand, South Africa, China and also Cuba, in pickled form. It is also occasionally eaten as an exotic delicacy in the Western world. Cuts of meat include backstrap and tail fillet. Due to high demand for crocodile products, traffic states that 1,418,487 Nile crocodile skins were exported from Africa between 2006 and 2015. Crocodiles have appeared in various forms in religions across the world. Ancient Egypt had Sobek, the crocodile-headed god, with his cult city Crocodilopolis, as well as Taweret, the goddess of childbirth and fertility, with the back and tail of a crocodile. The Jukan Shrine in the Wukari Federation, Nigeria is dedicated to crocodiles in thanks for their aid during migration. In Madagascar various peoples such as the Sokolava and Antandroi see crocodiles as ancestor spirits and under local fatty often offer them food, in the case of the latter at least a crocodile features prominently as an ancestor deity. Crocodiles appear in different forms in Hinduism. Varuna, a Vedic and Hindu god, rides a part crocodile Makara. His consort Varuni rides a crocodile. 
Similarly the goddess personifications of the Ganga and Yamuna rivers are often depicted as riding crocodiles. Also in India, in Goa, crocodile worship is practiced, including the annual Manjthapni Thapni ceremony. Akali Nihang Sikh warriors also have connections with crocodiles. Nihang may come from the Persian word for a mythical sea creature, Persian. The term owes its origin to Mughal historians, who compared the ferocity of the Akali with that of crocodiles. The meaning of Akali in Sikhism however, is the immortal army of Akal, God. In Latin America, Sapakli was the giant earth crocodile of the Aztec and other Nahua peoples. The term, crocodile tears, and equivalents in other languages refers to a false, insincere display of emotion, such as a hypocrite crying fake tears of grief. It is derived from an ancient anecdote that crocodiles weep in order to lure their prey, or that they cry for the victims they are eating, first told in the Bibliotheca by Photiosi of Constantinople. The story is repeated in bestiaries such as De Besties et Ali's Rebus. This tale was first spread widely in English in the stories of the travels of Sir John Mandeville in the 14th century, and appears in several of Shakespeare's plays. In fact, crocodiles can and do generate tears, but they do not actually cry. The name of Surabaya, Indonesia, is locally believed to be derived from the words, Suro, shark, and Boyo, crocodile, two creatures which, in a local myth, fought each other in order to gain the title of the strongest and most powerful animal, in the area. It was said that the two powerful animals agreed for a truce and set boundaries, that the shark's domain would be in the sea while the crocodile's domain would be on the land. However one day the shark swam into the river estuary to hunt, this angered the crocodile, who declared it his territory. The shark argued that the river was a water realm which meant that it was shark territory, while the crocodile argued that the river flowed deep inland, so it was therefore crocodile territory. A ferocious fight resumed as the two animals bit each other. Finally the shark was badly bitten and fled to the open sea, and the crocodile finally ruled the estuarine area that today is the city. Another source alludes to a Jayabaya prophecy, a 12th century psychic king of Kediri kingdom, as he foresaw a fight between a giant white shark and a giant white crocodile taking place in the area, which is sometimes interpreted as a foretelling of the Mongol invasion of Java, a major conflict between the forces of the Kublai Khan, Mongol ruler of China, and those of Raiden. Wijaya's Majapahit in 1293. The two animals are now used as the city's symbol, with the two facing and circling each other, as depicted in a statue appropriately located near the entrance to the city zoo. A crocodile's physical traits allow it to be a successful predator. Its external morphology is a sign of its aquatic and predatory lifestyle. Its streamlined body enables it to swim swiftly, it also tucks its feet to the side while swimming, making it faster by decreasing water resistance. Crocodiles have webbed feet which, though not used to propel them through the water, allow them to make fast turns and sudden moves in the water or initiate swimming. Webbed feet are an advantage in shallow water, where the animals sometimes move around by walking. Crocodiles have a palatal flap, a rigid tissue at the back of the mouth that blocks the entry of water. The palate has a special path from the nostril to the glottis that bypasses the mouth. The nostrils are closed during submergence. Size greatly varies among species, from the dwarf crocodile to the saltwater crocodile. Species of the dwarf crocodile Osteolemus grow to an adult size of just 1.5 to 1.9 meters, 4.9 to 6.2 feet, whereas the saltwater crocodile can grow to sizes over 6 meters, 20 feet, and weigh over 1,000 kilograms, 2,200 pounds. Several other large species can reach over 5.2 meters, 17 feet, long and weigh over 900 kilograms, 2,000 pounds. Crocodilians show pronounced sexual dimorphism, with males growing much larger and more rapidly than females. Despite their large adult sizes, crocodiles start their lives at around 20 centimeters, 7.9 in, long. The largest species of crocodile is the saltwater crocodile, found in eastern India, northern Australia, throughout Southeast Asia, and in the surrounding waters. Crocodiles are polyphiodonts. They are able to replace each of their 80 teeth up to 50 times in their 35 to 75 year lifespan. Next to each full-grown tooth, there is a small replacement tooth and an odontogenic stem cell in the dental lamina in standby that can be activated if required. Crocodiles have acute senses, an evolutionary advantage that makes them successful predators. The eyes, ears and nostrils are located on top of the head, 
allowing the crocodile to lie low in the water, almost totally submerged and hidden from prey. Crocodiles are ambush predators, waiting for fish or land animals to come close, then rushing out to attack. Crocodiles mostly eat fish, amphibians, crustaceans, mollusks, birds, reptiles, and mammals, and they occasionally cannibalize smaller crocodiles. What a crocodile eats varies greatly with species, size and age. From the mostly fish-eating species, like the slender-snouted and freshwater crocodiles, to the larger species like the Nile crocodile and the saltwater crocodile that prey on large mammals, such as buffalo, deer and wild boar, diet shows great diversity. Diet is also greatly affected by the size and age of the individual within the same species. All young crocodiles hunt mostly invertebrates and small fish, gradually moving on to larger prey. Being ectothermic, cold-blooded predators, they have a very slow metabolism, so they can survive long periods without food. Despite their appearance of being slow, crocodiles have a very fast strike and are top predators in their environment, and various species have been observed attacking and killing other predators such as sharks and big cats. Crocodiles are also known to be aggressive scavengers who feed upon carrion and steal from other predators. Evidence suggests that crocodiles also feed upon fruits, based in the discovery of seeds in stools and stomachs from many subjects as well as accounts of them feeding. Crocodility is cladistically defined as a crown group composed of the last common ancestor of the Nile crocodile, Crocodilus niloticus, the dwarf crocodile, Osteolemus tetraspis, and all of its descendants. It contains two subfamilies, Crocodilinae and Osteolemonae. Crocodilony contains 13 to 14 living species, as well as six extinct species. Osteolemonae was named by Christopher Broku in 2003 as a subfamily of crocodility separate from crocodilony, and contains the two extant genera Osteolemus and Mesostops, along with several extinct genera. The number of extant species within Osteolemonae is currently in question. Crocodiles can hear well. Their tympanic membranes are concealed by flat flaps that may be raised or lowered by muscles.